Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Ann Makes and welcome. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can click on the little Ann Makes in the bottom corner or you can also hit that bell and that way you will be notified each time I upload a new video. So today I have something new to share with you. I received some wonderful products from Plaid. Plaid is very generous. They have given these products to me with nothing else in exchange. They haven't asked for anything in exchange. I'm not being paid for this. Uh, but they have some new products and I'm really excited to try them myself and I'm going to show and tell you about them. So what did Plaid come out with? Well, in their folk art line, they have come up with some water color acrylic paints yes you heard me right they are acrylic paints but they have the effect of watercolors so what exactly does that mean so that means they go on like acrylic paints they dry like acrylic paints but they will have the transparency look of watercolors and you are able to lay one color over another without creating mud. So that's what's a little different. So this should appeal to the acrylic artist who wants to venture into watercolor, but is finding the transition a little bit challenging. And this way, you just continue collecting your acrylic paints and you're learning a new type of painting, but you're using the same type of paint. How great is that? So I can't wait to try these out. So let me show you what they sent me. They sent me several bottles of their beautiful colors, and I will show those in just a second. And also sent me some wonderful paint brushes. These are also new from their folk art line. These are watercolor acrylic painter brushes. So they are basically uh, water brushes. You fill these brushes with water and you would use them just like you would use a regular paintbrush. These are great for on the go traveling as well. And some water acrylic, some watercolor acrylic paint brushes. So you get these beautiful paint brushes. So these are the new paints that Plaid sent me. These are the from the Folk Art line. They are their series of watercolor paints. And uh, these are the colors that they sent me. They did send me a white, gray, turquoise, ultramarine, pastel orange, black, pastel turquoise, light purple, sap green, and burgundy. And finally, this bottle is what they call watercolor resist to create watercolor resist effects. So let me read you what the back of uh, each of the bottles of paint says. They are indoor, outdoor satin sheen paints create watercolor effects use on paper wood canvas fabric for decorative purposes only on glass or ceramics directions shake well the color thin color with water and apply as desired the addition of more water will make the color lighter and more transparent. Clean brushes and tools while wet with soap and water. So basically it's an acrylic paint that depending on the amount of water that you use 
to thin it will give you a more lighter and more transparent watercolor effect. And then once one layer dries, you can go over with another layer without creating mud. Because usually when you try to layer uh, regular watercolor paints, it's very hard to keep the first layer uh, from getting muddied or to change its color. This way, this, this type of paint will help you as long as you wait for each layer to dry. Now along with these beautiful paints and the watercolor resist, uh, let me tell you what the watercolor resist says. It says create watercolor resist effects and it's again it's used on paper, wood, canvas, fabric for decorative purposes only on glass or ceramics. The directions say to apply generously to prepared surface and let air dry and the resist will dry clear so this is great for making some sort of design or pattern and it dries completely clear then once it's dry the resist is permanent and then it is time to apply the diluted watercolor acrylic paints over the resist to reveal the design that you created with the resist in the first layer. So it's a bit like uh, when we were younger and we would use crayons and we would like write our names in the crayon and we would go over with some uh, watercolor paint and the water, the, the crayon would create the resist for the watercolor and once everything had dried our name would show up in the colored crayon that we had used. So let's say you went, you wrote your name in a red crayon and then you went over with yellow paint over the red crayon. Well, the red crayon would still show through the yellow paint once it was dry. So it's basically, it's similar to that. But this allows you to apply it with a brush and you can be a little bit more delicate and precise in your application. Plaid was very generous in providing me with some of their new brushes to use with their watercolor. This is the watercolor brush set that they sell. In here, you it's a three-piece set and you receive one oval wash brush, one round brush, and one liner brush. So here you have this large, I can remove, I can take them out of the package now. You can see better. Okay. So this is the large pointed. This is the large pointed oval wash brush. So this is great when you want to lay down a lot of color in a background. Now right now it's very stiff because it just came out of the packaging. But once I wet this brush, uh, I will be able to soften it up and use it and usually if you take care of your brushes you wash them with just a little bit of soap and water when you're done using uh, using them they will stay very nice for a very long time so you take care of your brushes and they will take care of you so this is the large oval large painted pointed because it has this nice point oval wash brush so it gives you the ability to make lots of backgrounds but also allows you to do some detailed work then the other brush that is in this set is this large round brush oh it's just this is great for making uh, most of your painting doing like, like flowers drawing animals, whatever. And finally, there is a liner brush, which is great for more detailed and line work. They've also given me these watercolor acrylic paint water brush sets. So there are two in here. So these water brush brushes are great for painting on the go, for traveling, 
Or if you just want to go, like say you want to do a little bit of painting on the couch while you're watching television and you don't want to bring a whole pot of water and your brush, uh, these are great for that. So you fill this part up with water, this, this unscrews, and you just fill this part up with the water and then you reattach it and then as you and you let it get wet this this becomes wet you can dip it in your paint and paint away and when you want to clean your brush you just give it a little squeeze to get more water out and just wipe it back and forth on either a paper towel or cloth and you can clean your brush you can also clean it very well uh, with some soap and water once you are done but the beauty of this is that you don't need to carry a big pot of water you can use this while you're traveling and then you and there's this cap to keep the bristles from becoming damaged so here is the flat brush that they give you and you also get a round brush with a nice it has a nice point actually so you can get a lot done this is great because this is great for doing a lot of backgrounds covering a lot of surfaces creating well co covering a greater surface and this is great for the details again next thing I will be doing is making a swatch sheet of my new folk art from plaid watercolor acrylic paints I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be coming up with some more, so please stay tuned. Please uh, remember to hit that bell so you never miss a new, a new video. And uh, have fun, stay crafty, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye!